Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome, my dear students, in today's lecture. We are studying democracy and demography and society. Sorry, where we shall discuss today demographic transition theory as we have already discussed yesterday Malthusian theory of population today we shall discuss second theory related to demography namely demographic transition theory let us study and discuss it <clears throat> theory of demographic transition is a theory that throws light on changes in birth rate and death rate and consequently on the growth rate of population my dear students this theory is a cyclic one where it discusses how birth rate and death rate changes with the passage of time with the passage of with the advent of uh, societies along with economic development along with economic development tendencies of birth rate and death rate are different as the economies develop the rates of birth and death becomes different because of it growth rate of population is also different then consequently finally the population growth is also different we shall understand it when we will we'll complete the theory after discussing the theory we shall understand it better demographic transition refers to a population cycle that begins with a fall in the death rate continues with a phase of rapid population growth and concludes with a decline in the birth rate these are its stages and cycles we have to we will discuss stage wise it inshallah after some time societies develop along a predictable continuum continuum as they evolve from unindustrialized to post industrial Demographic transition theory suggested that the future population growth will develop along a predictable four or five stage model. Here, are, this theory is a four stage model. Let us discuss those stages. The demographic transition theory comprises of four stages. Let us discuss stage number first. What does it say? In stage first, the pre-industrial society, that is undeveloped society, non-industrial society, pre-industrial society, death rates and birth rates are high and roughly in balance and population growth is typically very low and constrained by the available food supply. All human populations are believed to have had this balance until the late 18th century. Until the 18th century, every society of the world has shown this stage number first where death rates and birth rates were almost high and roughly in the balance. The death rate and birth rate were in balance so the population growth was very low and it was also constrained obstacle by by the available food supply food supply was very low so it constrained the population growth here birth rate and death rates were almost same all human populations are believed to have had this balance until the late 18th century until 18th century all populations have shown this type of this stage especially in europe stage number second in a developing country the country which is developing the death rates the death rates drop rapidly due to improvement in food supply and sanitation which increases lifespans and reduce disease in, in developing countries there is a 
there is faster growth rate because of improvements in food supply and sanitation because of advancements in scientific technology in europe the death rate decline started in the late late 18th century century currently some developing countries pass through this stage and century countries in this stage experience a large increase in population in this stage the countries show more growth rate because in advancements in scientific technologies the countries in this stage are developing countries stage number three birth rates fall due to access to contraception increase in wages urbanization increase in stats and education of women population growth begins to level off this process started in europe this process started in europe in 19th century it is important to note that birth rate decline is caused also by transition in values not just by because of the availability of contra contraceptives it happens in developed countries where birth rates fall it falls because of the availability medical facilities it de uh, decreases because of the transition in values people resort to contraceptive measures where they took resort to birth control measures then education um, this dissemination also matters here where people become more educated about the problems of the population growth and its consequences so people values in their thinking also changes and they resort to use some more medical facilities for controlling the population growth stage number four birth rates and death rates are both low in this stage the birth rates and death rates are both low birth rates may drop to well below replacement level in simple way gro population growth rate is negative in this stage as happened in countries like germany italy japan leading to shrinking population in this in these countries there is negative population growth rate so their population shrinks it decreases and it becomes a threat a threat to many industries that rely on population growth and they have to import these uh, manpower for these industries at their at their own population is on decline they show negative population growth rate the reason for that is that the birth rate is low and the lifespan is long as with all morals this is an idealized idealized picture of population change in these countries this is my dear students an ideal idealized form picture of population change in these countries the model is a generalization it is not a particularized model it is a simply a generalization that applies to these countries as a group and may not accurately describe all individual cases it may not apply to all each and every country it simply describes it generalizes the theory the theory describes four stages of population which we study before some time where we studied four stages of population growth following patterns that connect with birth and death rates with stages of industrial development and the process of the trends of birth, birth and death rates here are being connected with the industrial development it was simply a theory where we discussed four stages in first stage where there is roughly same population there is no population growth rate in second there is more population growth rate due to the medical facilities then in third stage this population this levels of almost uh, there is same birth and uh, death rates and then fourth stage there is negative growth rate in some countries it was all about this 
theory where we studied demo correct demographic transition theory i may have elaborated it more or have written it more i have made it a extended note or long note you can short it just you have to give an introduction then you have to just mention four stages of the sim in simple words you have to give you have to write the four stages of this uh, four stage model of the theory it was all about inshallah tomorrow we shall discuss another topic of the